Welcome to the vlog, welcome to No Boring Days. A few months ago, I got a call from Fox Philippines. And well, today I have a new thing for my bike. So let's get to know the new fork. Let's go. Probably shouldn't go in there, wrong way. It's a chicken farm. this area more often. The only reason I went here was because it rained in my area and I noticed that this area was dry so there was no rain here. So much fun stuff, so much fun off-road. I'm gonna be back here a lot more often. Gotta figure out like a, a good loop for myself. I mean look at the views! Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so I'm here. I'm gonna take pictures of the Fox Gravel Fork. Ah, uh, front suspension and suspension in general because, you know, I'm a gravel cyclist primarily and I don't really do mountain bike. So this is the first time I've had a suspension fork. Usually when I do like a first impressions video, I do as little research as possible and then just, you know, go by feel, but this thing has so many moving parts with adjustments and, and, and you know, I just don't know what to expect. So I thought I'd, I'd give you guys a little bit more information than usual. So I'm going to take pictures of the bike and while I take pictures, I'm going to narrate something that I read on the internet about the fork. All right. Fox Philippines gave me the new Fox 32 Tapercast fork. It's a lightweight air spring gravel fork optimized for short travel. Available in 40 and 50 mm travel options with 50 mm tire clearance on 700 C wheels. The fork is designed for 700 C wheels only at a claimed weight of 1,226 grams. The 32 TC is the lightest suspension fork Fox has ever made. Fox has committed to a steer tube standard that tapers from one and one eighth inch to one and one half inch i'm not sure what that means honestly but it fit my bike without me having to change anything if that means anything all right so i've been cycling around for about an hour now and i noticed a few things number one i like fiddling around with the i don't know what to call it the uh suspension settings there's like an open a medium and a i guess it's a closed i'm not sure so basically when it's closed the suspension is essentially off it doesn't go up and down although i still do notice a little play even if it's closed it's not like a true rigid fork where it doesn't move but i was pleasantly surprised doesn't feel all that much different and one of the things that i like to do is stand 
and uh, kind of sprint, you know, when you sway the bike around and I was worried that there would be a lot of up and down movement and even in the mid setting it's okay like I wouldn't mind doing most of my rides in the medium setting in fact that's what I think I'm gonna end up doing unless I, I, unless I know I'm doing a pure road ride if I'm doing a pure road ride I might put the setting to close but if it's gonna be a mixed terrain ride definitely medium and then if I know that there's gonna be a fast downhill section that's off-road or super chunky uh, rocks along the way then I just put it full open feels pretty good I gotta say I mean I was a little bit skeptical at first <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's mud. It was a mistake to pass here. cyclists probably be asking you know why even bother with suspension I mean there's a lot of benefits but it also has cons stuff like despite being a lightweight suspension fork this is still going to be heavier than most carbon rigid forks and you know less aero that sort of thing but it is a lot more comfortable like a lot more comfortable and on the rough stuff I suspect it's a lot faster I joined a race a few months ago and there was a downhill off-road section and the mountain bike guys routinely overtook my slow ass downhill because you really have no choice on a rigid gravel bike like there's a lot of situations where you have to press on the brakes just to slow down because the bike is just so rattly and I suspect with a suspension fork like this situations like fast downhills or even fast rocky flats might be faster on the suspension fork and also honestly I don't know it feels a lot more fun it's like another toy to play with another thing to tinker with the settings you know all right let's try to get home in one piece I actually crashed a while ago <laughs> I was going super slow and then like as I mentioned there's it rained a while ago so there was water on the ground and I didn't think it was that deep so the front wheel went deep into the water and basically I went very slowly over the bars. So while the suspension helps a lot, it's not a magic wand. <laughs> so thank you again, Fox Philippines, for sending me your suspension gravel fork. I am gonna be using this quite a bit. A lot more off-road rides in the future. All right, the ride was 35.75 kilometers, two hours, nine minutes, and 58 seconds moving time with 431 meters of elevation gain. No boring days, please subscribe.